Oh my gosh, do you see how thick that is? That's crazy. I don't think I could get close to you. Let's try it. Come on. That's what do you mean? It's supposed to be, oh yeah, it's a good test. Hey friends, welcome it? back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki, and today, I thought we'd do something a little controversial, I guess. I don't watch gossip channels. I was just looking on Instagram, and I saw everybody was like, Kat Von D is canceled. Don't use Kat Von D. A lot of people were saying that they were banning the brand. So you guys actually educated me because I had no idea what was going on. Apparently, it's about her not vaccinating her children, her... I think her husband, boyfriend, I don't know, I don't follow her, is a gang member or used to be, I don't know. But a lot of people are banning her, if you didn't know. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've decided not to shop Kat Von D Beauty anymore. But anyways, that whole situation made me like look through my makeup collection and I realized I bought the Locket Tattoo Foundation years ago when it first launched, which I did a review video on it. It's super old, but if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link to it down below. I didn't wanna watch that video because I didn't want it to like taint this video. So I thought, why not do kind of like a flashback video and try this out again. Now this is the original formula. I think they reformulated it. Um, original formula. And I just thought, let's try it. My skin is totally different from when I initially filmed that video years ago. Um, back then, my skin was very acne prone, very oily, lots of texture, huge pores. Now uh, that I've gone through the chemical peel process twice, if you haven't seen those videos, I show you getting a chemical peel, all that stuff. I'll leave a link to it down below. My skin is more normal to combo, less acne, a lot less acne actually. My pores are a lot smaller and I have a lot less texture. So I thought, let's give old Kat Von D another try and see what's up. So we're gonna jump into it, sans makeup. I'm gonna check in with you throughout the day. Let's All go. right, let's jump into it. So I have my eye makeup done. What else do I have on my face? I have on the, uh, I'll show you a close up of this, the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream under both eyes. It feels really nice and lightweight. You guys know, I always tell you this. Oh, I just realized it has triple hyaluronic acid, which my under eyes need because they have been very dry lately. I don't like to give you, um, I don't like to say with skincare on the first time, I love it or I hate it, because I feel like with skincare, you just have to give it time to see how you feel about it, unless it's really bad or really great. But even if it's really great, I feel like you just have to use it for a while. So I will update you on this, but put it on for the first time today. It feels nice, lightweight. That's why I really like First Aid Beauty. I feel like they're just really good quality, simple products. And when I say simple, I don't, this isn't sponsored by the way. They did send this to me, but you guys know I tell you whether I love something or I don't. Actually, they sent this to me for free and I have all my PR go to my PO box and the mailman put it in the wrong mailbox. Oh my God. He's so nice, so I wasn't gonna get upset with him. So I just went out and bought it because I wanted to tell you guys about it. I wanted to try it out. So anyways, I like the way it feels first time, but I will keep you posted. So I have that under the eyes. And then I have been talking to you guys about this for I think at least six months, maybe even a year. This is a Korean brand. I'm pretty sure I butchered the name. It's Sul Wasu. So S-U-L-W-H. S O O. And this is their first care activating serum. First of all, the packaging, can you guys hear that? This bottle is sturdy, it's beautiful, really big pump, but who cares about the packaging? The product is amazing. Now, this is something I can update you on because I've used this at least six months. If you go back and watch older videos, you've heard me talk about this. It's a very lightweight serum. I always smell skincare, I'm such a weirdo. And it, it doesn't have much of a scent. There's something there, but it's very, very faint. This stuff is firming. I've been putting it on under the eyes. Actually, I put it all over my face. It's very firming, lightweight. I literally feel like my skin tightens up when I use this. It's not super affordable. I believe this bottle, oh, I don't, is it 80 or 60? It's worth it. I love splurging on good quality skincare. I can tell you right now, this is worth the money. It's like my little hidden secret because I feel like a lot of people don't know about that brand. There are so many K-beauty K brands that we don't know about still, but that stuff is amazing. So, oh, I didn't put that on yet, but I'm going to because I put it on all the time. So 
It's very lightweight, clear, and I just press it into the skin like so. This is something I do every day under all foundation, so it would be weird if I didn't do it now. This is kind of like a foundation routine video now that I'm thinking about it. So I like to wait for like five minutes to let that soak into the skin, so I'll be right back. And then I tell you guys this all the time, but I like to use hand cream when I like before I start my makeup, usually before I even do my eyes. Um, so this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. <sighs> You guys know how I feel about Sol de Janeiro. I've been using their Coco Cabana cream. I love that stuff. Their Brazilian Bum Bum cream. It smells, oh my God. It smells like coconut, like chocolate. It just smells amazing. So this is the hand cream. This is what it looks like. I've also just started using their exfoliating scrub, which I really like. And I'm gonna try their shower gel soon. I love all of their products, but Oh my God, this just smells so good. If you've smelled the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, that's what this smells like. The only difference is I feel like it's a little bit more thick, which is great for hands, especially in the winter right now. I still have makeup on my hands, so I'm trying not to get it on that. Oh, I love the scent. It's so good. All right, now we're finally ready to go into the foundation. So I originally I uh, reviewed this I don't know if I told you guys this in the intro three or four years ago I think when it first came out I didn't want to rewatch that video because my skin is totally different now back then it was super oily super acne prone lots of texture um, skin's texture is a little better now but now I'm very combo so we're just gonna go into it oh my god I remember one thing I do remember is this stuff is thick like if you do not want a full coverage, thick foundation, I wouldn't even recommend going here. Holy crap, it's still thick. So I'm gonna go in, I usually use my Luna Glow brushes. I have them right in front of me right here. Here's the Luna Glow brush. I usually use, I like to use, this set is live on um, Luna Glow right now. Luna Glow is my store if you don't know. I usually use a buffing brush to uh, put on my foundation or I use the flathead foundation brush, but Real Techniques was nice enough to send me their flawless base set. I would say like Real Techniques next to my brushes is one of my favorite brush brands. They're affordable, they're high quality. I literally have Real, uh, Real Techniques foundation brushes that I've had for over five years and that I've spent under 10 bucks on. I cannot say enough about them when I launched my own brushes, I tried to mimic the quality that they have. I wanted you guys to have affordable brushes, but um, that would last you for a very long time. And that's what Real Techniques is. I love them. I always say I love them. I love you, Real Techniques. Thank you so much for sending this to me. This isn't sponsored. They did send this to me. Um, so I'm gonna use, so in this one, you get the contour brush, the detailer brush, the buffing brush, and the square foundation brush. I'm gonna use the buffing brush. I love to buff my foundation in. This is scary, guys. I don't think I've used a foundation this thick since I last used this. Oh, by the way, this is the shade, what shade is this? Mm, I'll leave a link to it down below. It says 24 hour wear, full coverage, transfer resistant, matte finish, oil free, fragrance free. Holy shiznat. It literally looks like I'm putting war paint on and I don't think I'm this color anymore. Oh, I like to do, um, Primer on one side and one side without primer just so we can see if it wears differently, which it should because you're putting primer on. <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but I really like the way it looks. I don't know why. Even though my skin is now smoother and I have a lot less texture, a lot less acne, I just love full coverage foundation looks. I just think they make you look amazing. Now, some people I know would hate this because it is super thick. It feel Now, here's the thing I don't really like. It feels thick. Like, it feels like I just painted my face with some thick, thick foundation. Um, but I'm interested to see how it lasts. So, the other side of my face, I'm gonna do the pore pour. Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is Hydrate and Balance. I love this primer. I cannot recommend this enough. If you have normal, dry, or calm, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like I swallowed some of the foundation. Combo skin, <coughs> I think I swallowed some of it. It will make your skin It'll make your foundation last a lot longer while hydrating the skin without making you look super oily. I don't know how it does it. I feel like it's kind of like magic in a bottle. If you're oily, I would say don't 
you know, don't try this because it will make you a little bit more oily than you would like. But for me, I'm combo. I don't usually put it all over the face, but just because we're trying out this foundation, I swear I ate some of that foundation. I wish I had some water. We're going to put it all over. I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then we'll put the rest on. Oh my gosh, do you see how thick that is? That's crazy. Now, I think since I originally bought this when it first launched, I'm pretty sure they re-released it. So this is the original formula. I don't know anything about the re-release. I don't know if it's not as thick. So this is like true old school throwing it back test. Wow, this is thick. This is very thick. Okay, so this is not my perfect shade. I'm realizing my skin tone has definitely changed. Um, very warm, and I'm not this warm. Um, this stuff is thick. I think if you have uh, texture, a lot of texture on your skin, I don't think you would like this. Um, if you don't like the feel of foundation, like you have foundation on your skin, you will not like this. If you are not a complete full coverage person, you will not like this. Now, if you're someone like myself who loves to just paint makeup on their face, I love the way this looks right now. We're gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this on as long as I can um, and see how it wears, see if I still like it. I like the finish, I like that it looks, it just makes my, I feel like it's just an even base now. So I feel like I'm just even, ready to put on some concealer. Um, I wouldn't wear this every day just because it's super thick, but for days when I just want a lot of coverage, like you cannot see any blemish. It's not even accentuating my pores. Uh, you still see a little bit of texture through, but not much. I like the way it looks, but I'm telling you, this is not for everybody. I already know that. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll check in with you guys in a couple of hours. We've come to the beach. Let's hear the boyfriend's thoughts for the foundation. I'm in the dark. How's this happen? Get over here. Come into my light, darling. Oh, I'm just living in your light, baby. What do you think of this foundation? You can be honest. Um, it's pretty even. It's got some creasing in the mouth. Okay, creasing which is not good because we just put it on like an hour ago. Like literally where your smile lines are, it's very different. See it? Yeah. It seems a bit artificial. Like it's not quite matching your skin tone, which may be the wrong selection Yeah. in color or a different it's selection. It's closer. I can see you. Yep. <laughs> oh, there he is. If you've seen the videos where he rates my outfit, he's always very concerned about his hair. <laughs> so but what about the finish? You think it looks too thick? Too makeup-y? I don't know. It seems like there's a little extra coverage. <laughs> a little extra? Yeah. <laughs> like you're trying to cover over for some bad skin that you don't have. <laughs> you don't have bad skin. That's why I like bringing him on. He always keeps it real. You don't have bad skin. It just looks like that appears to be like you're, what you're doing. There was a girl I knew back in junior high that would just smash it on, like cake it on. She had bad skin, okay. you know, unfortunately. But I think that's part of why she had bad skin, so she caked it on. So is this not one of your faves? I don't think I could get close to you. Let's try it. Come on. That's what do you mean? It's supposed to be, oh yeah, it's a good test. Why did I make that face? Is it on me? No. Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't see, it's too dark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Is it on me? Oh, Could yeah. Because it just touched. It's supposed to be transfer resistant. That's a good test. It's not transfer resistant. You're in the shadow, though. Get it in the light. See, look how, look. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I do have a little sunscreen on, so that might have taken it off of me. Oh, Okay, no. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. All right, so the boyfriend sounds like he doesn't like it. Well, my bigger issue is if I got close to you, it'd be all over my clothes. Okay, friends, it's many hours later. Um, just cancel everything I said about this foundation earlier. <laughs> First of all, I'm really uncomfortably close up, so you can just see real life. The pores are out to play everywhere. 
I am shiny AF texture pours shine. It's just a disaster. What's that? He's thrown me. Your mother watches these. He's thrown me his bat underwear. <laughs> what a lovely boyfriend I have. Anyways, guys, no, I can't. And it literally. The girl, there's no guys in the audience. It literally feels like I have. The lighting's horrible. Can you turn the light up? Sure, I would be happy to. <laughs> no problem. It literally feels like I put like thick clay. Ow! Get your freaking feet out of my shot! I'm sorry, guys. I have you up my nostril. My eyes aren't open. It literally feels like I have thick clay on my face. Like. No, I can't. This foundation is great for if you want to cover things up, like it says, like tattoos, lock it, tattoo. Um, I use it to cover up my stretch marks. It's great for that. But like on the face, uh, I couldn't imagine wearing this every day. You couldn't pay me to wear this foundation every day. I cannot wait to take it off. Yeah. Here up my nostril, pores, texture and all. I will be taking this off and I will not be putting it back on my face. Um, a full coverage foundation, seriously, in all seriousness, really like, I can't believe I'm filming this close at this angle with you up my nose, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. A lot of people don't like it because it's full coverage, but it is nothing like this. Like, this is just too much. I can't. And it's just showing everything. I'm not enjoying it. So, what are we? I, I didn't show you the time originally, but I think I put it on at 1, and it's now 11 p.m., and I cannot wait to get it off so that's a bad sign i won't be putting this back on my face i can't if you have any thoughts down below let me know if you've canceled kat von d if you've banned her from your life literally shooting you up my nose i'm gonna go friends i'm gonna go okay.